Podcast One. Howdy and welcome along to episode 95 of the Howie Games, Paddy Mills, The Impact of the Coronavirus. I hope you and your loved ones are all happy and healthy and that you are finally seeing some light at the end of what's been a pretty dark tunnel, fingers crossed. Whilst the world is obviously facing far greater problems than anything sport related, hopefully, hopefully the imminent return of many sports is giving you a lift as it has me. Here's to a new, safer world on the horizon. The normal part A and B following Paddy's journey are ready for you to listen to right now. But first, here's Paddy Mills from San Antonio, Texas, on his life in the corona world. Uh, There's so much to talk about and I can't wait to tell your story through your eyes. But before we get to that, the coronavirus world, you're a positive man. I know that. How are you dealing with it all? Yeah, look, um, that, that's come into effect big time is, is you know, the, the good vibes and the positive ad- attitude, I think, and, and the outlook on that. But, um, yeah, look, I, I was just saying to you earlier that the, the sun is out. We've got some good weather down here in, in South Texas um, and we, we can't really complain. Um, things have obviously changed and, and you've got to adjust, um, which is where the positive attitude comes into it. But uh, me, the missus and, and the dog, we're, we're finding ways to be creative and, and uh keep on staying busy i guess what's the dog's name his name's harvey he's he's right here he's a little bit cooked at the moment we've been kicking the footy in the backyard so he's uh he's he's laying on the floor so you've got a footy there with you to kick yeah this is uh this is harvey's version so it's the it's the dog version because i don't let him have the sharon to be honest he'll uh he'll ruin that in a matter of seconds but uh you know what over this quarantine stuff we've uh we, he's quite the footballer, mate. He chases down the ball and, and brings it back pretty quick. So I'm impressed with his skills. Talking about skills, basketball, have you got a hoop? I presume you're not in a setup where you've got a court in your backyard. How are you keeping your skills uh, going? No, nah, mate, we got a, we got no room for a, a basketball court in the backyard. Um, look, we've tried to be creative. We've got um, one of those you know, netted baskets out the back and one of Harvey's dog toys that we throw in there and, and, and that's about it. Um, so, so it has been a little bit of a, a shift, you know, on, on not being able to really, you know, get your hands on a ball. Um, but like I said, you just try to find creative ways to be able to stay active and, and stay fit as well um, and do stuff around the house and in the backyard. Are you missing it? Are you missing basketball? Yeah, I am. I mean, it's, you know, we, we see the, the positives out of it and what we've been able to accomplish throughout this quarantine. And, and it's given me the chance to dive into stuff that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily have the, the chance to do during a, during an NBA season or Olympics even, preparation. Um, but to be honest, I, I miss the competitive side and, and you know, that's that's really what's got me to where I am is, is the competitive fire. And, um, yeah, I miss the locker room banter, the, the airplane banter, you know, all that travel stuff that you, you have um, being involved with a team sport. But, mate, when it comes to um, sports and, and being competitive, um, that's what I miss the most. It was, in a way, it was a real outlier because I remember, Paddy, driving along here in Victoria and all of a sudden it came on the radio that the NBA had suspended their season and it was probably the first major sport to do it and that's, I'd been overseas and that's when it hit me, the seriousness of what we were going through. So the NBA were real outliers and showed some real leadership in many ways, Paddy, I reckon. Yeah, I think.